Uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video I want to show you how to convert uh, image from a URL to a bitmap object using this uh, coil uh, image loading library. So uh, coil is a modern and uh, easy to use uh, image loading library for Android backed by uh, Kotlin coroutines, hence the acronym uh, coroutine image uh, loader. The first thing you need to do, uh, you need to add this uh, dependency, so just copy this uh, one line of code into your uh, Gradle build file and let me just open this Android Studio project so uh, just add that uh, dependency in your uh, Gradle build file and also you need to add uh, internet permission in uh, Android manifest file okay so here uh, I have only one fragment which is uh, located in uh, one activity so uh, here uh, we're going to make a new function which will basically convert uh, image from a URL to a bitmap object so uh, here let's first uh, go down below and let's uh, create a new function so uh, get bitmap okay and this function will return a bitmap object okay so uh, here we're going to create an image uh, loader object so uh, loader okay so choose uh, this one and uh, as a parameter uh, require context okay so uh, down below we're going to create uh, one more variable named uh, request image uh, request dot uh, builder and uh, here we need to pass a require context as a parameter as well all right so uh, this uh, image request object uh, basically represents an uh, immutable value object that represents a request for an image okay so we're going to use this uh, image request to actually uh, pass our uh, url of our image so uh, down below uh, type dot data and here uh, we need to pass the url of our image so i'm going to copy uh, this one and uh, i'm going to paste that uh, url right here so it's a bit uh, longer but uh, never mind and down below i'm going to call build okay so uh, down below i'm going to create uh, one more variable named the result and basically uh, we're going to get the result from this uh, uh, request so open up the brackets and uh, here uh, let's call a loader then uh, execute then here we need to pass a request so image request okay and we want to cast this to uh, success result so as success result and dot drawable okay so uh, we're going to get that uh, image and we're going to convert that to a drawable object and uh, down below we're going to basically return a, a bitmap object uh, which will be uh, converted from this uh, drawable object so just return open up the brackets type uh, result as bitmap drawable okay so this one and uh, behind the brackets dot bitmap okay so uh, here we're basically returning this uh, bitmap object uh, which is uh, converted from this uh, drawable object uh, above and as you can see our function is uh, returning this uh, bitmap object as well so we have a warning here from uh, our android studio telling us that this execute method is a suspend function and uh, should be called only from a coroutine or another suspend function so uh, the way we are going to uh, bypass this uh, we're going to call a lifecycle scope inside our own create view so here i'm going to create a new variable named uh, view and uh, i'm going to return this view okay and uh, in the middle i'm going to call this uh, get bitmap function but before that i want to call a lifecycle scope dot launch and inside this lifecycle scope i'm going to call this uh, function okay and of course uh, we need to add a suspend keyword here so uh, private suspend function okay and now this uh, warning will disappear okay so everything should work fine and uh, i can basically just uh, log the result of this uh, function so let me cut this uh, line of code and i'm going to call a log dot d i'm going to write just a tag here and i'm going to uh, convert that uh, result or that bitmap to string so we can actually see the result so let me run the app so there is uh, nothing here we just want to see the log to see if uh, we have actually converted this uh, image from url to a bitmap object so let's copy this tag open up logcat here let's type that and as you can see uh, we have converted this uh, bitmap object to string and this is the id of that uh, bitmap so basically we have successfully converted our uh, url from uh, image to a bitmap object using a coil uh, image loading library so uh, that will be all for this video thank you for watching please like this video if you find it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one